In this video, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of Econ Maths regarding utility maximization in case of three euros. The question is like this. Consider the consumer with utility function utility u x y z is equal to under root of x y plus z Okay, where x y z are the three goods Suppose income of the consumer is hundred dollars price of x is one dollar price of y is Two dollars. What must be the price of z if the consumer consumes positive amount of y and z in equilibrium? We have to find out the price of z here. Okay, when the consumer is consuming positive amount of y and z in equilibrium okay so the options are under root 2 under under root 3 3 under root 2 or 2 under root 2 okay let's see how to solve this question okay first of all we know that at equilibrium consumer will be at equilibrium when the ratio of the marginal utilities to price are equal across goods that means let me write it here at at equilibrium marginal utility the ratio of marginal utility to price should be equal across all goods that means we have three goods that means marginal utility of x upon price of x should be equal to marginal utility of y upon price of y should be equal to marginal utility of z upon price of z okay so this is the equilibrium condition in case of three goods if we have two goods then we have only two goods and similarly if we have four goods then we'll, it will change accordingly but this will remain this is also called the law of equi marginal principle here okay and it simply says that uh, consumer is at equilibrium when the ratio of marginal utility to price are equal across the goods here okay now what we are being given here we have the utility function u x y z is equal to so i can write it like this x to the power 1 upon 2 y to the power 1 upon 2 same thing if i write this under root i can just expand this plus we have z okay what are uh, our variables being given we are being told price of x is equal to 1 price of y is equal to 2 uh, income of the consumer is 100 we have to find out the price of z is equal to what okay simply we will use this very condition here now what is marginal utility of x that means this is our utility function uh, marginal utility of x means partially differentiating this utility function with respect to x okay so let me write it here so if we partially differentiate this with respect to x that means this one upon two will become coefficient and this exponent will be subtracted by one by a power function rule simple thing so marginal utility of x means if i write it here like this so for uh, the sake of simplicity i will write for you people i can marginal utility of x means a partial derivative of utility function with respect to x okay upon price of x should be equal to partial derivative of utility with respect to y upon price of y should be equal to the partial uh, derivative of utility with respect to uh, good z should be uh, upon sorry price of z okay now du upon dx will be here equal to so this one upon two will become coefficient we have one upon two x this exponent is subtracted by one simply by power function rule so one upon two minus one becomes minus one upon two y one upon two divide by what is the price of x it is equal to one okay it should be equal to now what is the similarly here uh, the derivative of z will be zero because we are partially differentiating with respect to x now partially differentiating this time with respect to y okay this one upon two will become the coefficient we have one upon two x to the power one upon two and y to the power so one upon two minus one becomes minus one upon two divided by the price of y is 2 so let me write it here like this so du upon dz partially differentiating this time with respect to z so since no z is involved in the first term derivative of z is 1 so this is equal to 1 upon p z okay now let's try to solve that means uh, this thing is equal to this and this in turn is equal to this okay now what we can do here if I equate this 
term with last term and this term with last term we can get the value okay there are different types of methods if i first equate these two terms then equate this term okay let us say this is a is equal to b is equal to c i can write it if this denotes a this is b this is c i will uh, solve for a is equal to b okay then i will solve for b is equal to c okay or you can also equate a with c and b with c so i will just use a and this thing okay so if i uh, rewrite this here uh, so we have one upon two okay x to the power 1 upon 2 it will uh, we will transpose it to the denominator so we have y to the power 1 upon 2 upon x to the power 1 upon 2 and i will equate these two first okay should be equal to here same thing 1 upon 2 x to the power 1 upon 2 and transposing this to the denominator it will become uh, uh, the exponent sign will get changed simple thing okay and we have this two already here so 2 y to the power 1 upon 2 first i will solve these two things here so 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 will get cancelled here okay so we have here y to the power 1 upon 2 upon x to the power 1 upon 2 is equal to x to the power 1 upon 2 divided by 2 y to the power 1 upon 2 just cross multiply here so we have this very stuff here 2 now y to the power 1 upon 2 into y to the power 1 upon 2 will become 2y simply because when we add the exponent it will become 1 here similarly here x to the power 1 upon 2 into x to the power 1 upon 2 will become x okay this is the first relation and now I will equate b with c this thing with this thing here okay so <clears throat> simply this one upon two two will become the denominator so two into two is four again here one upon four we have x to the power one upon two y to the power one upon two i have just transposed this uh, term to the denominator the exponent sign will get obviously changed it should be equal to one upon pz okay or we can write it like this if i transpose this here so this can be written as uh, x upon y simply using the square root here if i transpose this will become 4 upon pz okay now transposing this square it uh, square root it will become a square on rhs simple thing i know you people know it very well so we have x upon y is equal to 4 upon pz square so x upon y is equal to 4 4 that 16 upon p z square okay so here i can do one thing if i just rewrite this very equation again here so if i transpose this here this means x upon y is equal to 2 okay so we have two things here x upon y is equal to 2 and x upon y is equal to this very step okay since here lhs are same we can uh, equate rhs that means 16 upon p z square is equal to 2 or uh, this implies 2 into p z square 2 into p z square is equal to 16 or p z square is equal to 16 upon 2 which comes out to be 8 which implies p z is equal to uh, transposing uh, square it will become root here okay so this becomes under root 8 and we can write pz is equal to if we expand this this will become uh, under root 4 into 2 and this can be written like this uh, this under root 4 into 2 can be written like this under root 4 into under root 2 so under root 4 can be written as 2 square okay into under root 2 square root gets cancelled we get 2 under root 2 that means our pz the price of z should be equal to 2 under root 2 okay this was one method you can or uh, you can also use the languages method but i don't think that will be um, 
required here because if you use the law of equimarginal principle you will get the correct answer and you can also use the leg raises method how do we use the leg raises method so let me rub this out i will not explain that very thing in detail but i will give you an idea so how do we form the language method first this is our objective function uh, this will be our budget constraint that means our budget constraint is here uh, x plus 2y plus pz into z should be equal to 100 okay then we form the language function by writing first objective function x to the power 1 upon 2 y to the power 1 upon 2 plus z uh, plus uh, writing this very constraint function first we set it equal to zero and multiply with lambda i have explained this stuff uh, many number of times and you can easily comprehend this if you are following my video series this is minus x minus 2y minus p z z okay so this is our leverage function how do you solve first you take the partial derivative with respect to x and set it equal to zero partial derivative with respect to y and set it equal to zero partial derivative with respect to z set it equal to zero and partial derivative with respect to lambda and set it equal to zero so you have three four equations and four unknowns and you can also get the value of pz is equal to two under two if you use the language method by i don't think that will be required here okay i hope i make myself clear in this video so i will uh, repeat here i'm just a student of economics in that capacity there can be some mistakes errors in my methodology or in calculating the variables or at times the method will be incorrect okay so if you can rectify me i can rectify my mistakes easily thank you